Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your January forecast for what do they secretly want to tell you? What have they left unsaid? Okay, so this is going to be about secrets being revealed about your situation. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. Now, this reading is for anyone who is single couple, anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. So if you have a love interest that you have in mind and you want to find out what do they secretly want to tell you? This is the reading for you. Also, my darlings, if you'd like a personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And the Eye of Zen is back up on amazon.com, so check out the description box below. All right, so, Aries, I don't want to take up too much time. So, and we have multiple decks to go through. We're also going to take a look at... Um, the potential outcome between you and this person. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So what does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, what does Aries love interest secretly want to tell them for January? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's take a look at this, Aries. And also you can check your moon, your rising, and your sun sign for more information. Okay, so we start out here with the two of cups. Wow, it's a really, really nice energy, actually. It almost seems like these two individuals kind of look alike too as well. It's almost like a mirroring going on here. So I feel like this person wants to tell you that you guys are very much alike. Uh, I feel like this person feels like intertwined in the situation with you. Also, I feel like this person is like, yeah, I just, you know, it feels like a, a good connection here. They also may want a relationship for some of you, or there may be a relationship here for some of you. And also, I feel like this person's like, I love you, because Two of Cups does mean love and commitment there. Also, this person is feeling like, all right, I want to make choices here, but I want the choices to be intertwined with you, because of the fact that we have, if you guys can see, okay, you can see that there's these two roses, they're intertwined together, okay? so. I feel like this person's like, yeah, I really want to be with you and I want whatever we do together, I want to do it together. Cause you know, I feel like we're so alike and we get along so well. That's what I feel like here. Okay, so let's keep going. So, oh my God, you guys got the star card energy. So yeah, this person is looking to the future actually with you Aries, okay? This person is like, feeling like, oh my goodness, they're, they're like, wow, you are a part of what I wanted. You, they wish for you, they hope for you. You know, they see this as a magical connection also. That's what I also feel like from this card. So they're very hopeful of things. Um, it's almost, uh, this card for me just feels very magical. It's like a fairy there. It's almost like they were just like, how did, how did I just happen upon this person? We're so much alike. We get along so well. And you know what? I want to share my dreams with them. Okay, let's keep going here. And then we got the Two of Pentacles energy. I feel like this person's trying to, you know, um, bring things into order here, into the connection. I feel like this person feels like they're floating on air. That's what I also feel like here. I feel like this person is just kind of like, all right, I need to, you know, prioritize my my tasks here because I do a lot of juggling I know there's a lot of work-life issues here between us sometimes with trying to get our schedules in line um, I feel like if I could get this person in line and we could just come together you know I could bring a balanced situation here but sometimes I do feel like a little bit off balance here but um, I would like to make some type of choice about this, a heavy choice here with the Two of Pentacles energy about the long term here because pentacles represent money, uh, children, finance, long term commitment. So they are like looking at this pertaining to you guys in the long term. And you can see there's beautiful colors in these cards. It's like a lot of star energy going on here. So I feel like this person's very hopeful about the future. I feel like this person's like, yeah, we can have a very positive outcome. They see you in the future. You know, they see you guys going forward. They don't see themselves without you. Okay, that's what I feel like so far. So we're gonna clarify to get more information as we go. Well, let's take a look. Let's keep going here. So moon card energy. I feel like with this particular card, I feel like this person dreams about you a lot. 
where they have a lot of dreams that they want to share with you, but they are concerned if they share those dreams with you that maybe there's going to be some kind of hidden peril or something that they're not going to be aware of that could happen. They also have a sense of like, all right, I hope that I'm seeing things clearly as well, because I feel like with the moon card energy, it's like, you know, a dreamy energy. I don't know if you guys ever go on vacation and you go there at nighttime and you're kind of like, oh my God, look how beautiful it is. The city is wonderful. And then you see it in the daytime, you're like, what happened? You know? So it's like, there's a lot of dreamy energy, uh, Pisces kind of energy, because that's the moon card, it's the Pisces energy. So it's just like, you know, they're dreaming about you, you know, they're, they're thinking about the future. Uh, they definitely feel like there's something very magical, something very different about the connection as well with the moon card being there. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so we got the death card energy. Ah, now I see where the moon card is there. They're afraid, okay? They're concerned that you're gonna end the connection, okay? That somehow this connection is going to end and or they're confused about an ending. For some of you, maybe you guys, you ended the relationship with them. So they, they were very confused about that. And we see there's a butterfly in this card. So I feel like this person's like, I really want th something to change here. I really want to bear my soul. That's what I feel like. I feel like this person wants to bear themselves to you. Like they want to reveal their deeper um, aspects of themselves and show you how beautiful they are. That's what I feel like. Okay, so we got the Queen of Wands energy. Again, this person finds you very attractive. Uh, this is obviously an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. And interesting enough, another card that seems very magical, very, uh, you know, dreamy kind of energy. It's I feel this person really, really constantly dreams about you, okay? I feel like they really connect with you in dreams for some of you, and they want you to know that. They want you to know that they want, they want to reveal some things to you on a deeper level here, that they find you very attractive, almost like you're like the light of their life. That's what I feel like here for some of you, okay? So let's continue on and let's go further here. They really do want to gain some kind of clarity and an opportunity here. And it's interesting also, this particular card, she looks like she has stars. So I feel like this person's like, Aries, I really want to reveal my dreams to you. I really want an opportunity here. I don't want to keep going around circles with you, but you know, I'm right here and I really need some clarity here because uh, right now I don't know, I'm a little bit confused and I want to come together. I want to be together and I'm still hopeful that we can have a positive outcome. I'm concerned that something will end here or you'll go for someone new because you're so attractive here or for some of you, I'm still hopeful even though we had this ending. And then I heard an email there, guys. So I feel like that's either confirming what I'm saying as a reader or it's saying that you're going to get some kind of email or text message. Okay, so let's keep going. Hierophant card, oh my God. So they want clarity about, I also feel like this person also feels like there's something very spiritual about this connection too, just because of the vibe of the cards and the way it feels for me, Aries, for you guys because also the Hierophant card can be like, um, you know, spiritual guidance, some higher connection. And they're kind of like not understanding. They're kind of like, what is going on here with this connection? I don't understand why I feel this way. Also the Hierophant card energy could be talking about marriage. Okay. And then it was like, they're trying to like, all right, I need to make the best decision. I want to make the wisest decision here. And so I feel like this person, obviously they want something more serious here okay or they want to gain clarity about marriage long-term commitment and why because they want to tell you that you are the best choice for them when it comes to love and they want to overcome these barriers here with the um with the king of cups being here oh my god that's really great energy cancer scorpio pisces energy so it's like they feel like i really want a choice to be made here i'm so confused and i'm trying to gain clarity i'm hopeful that, you know, we can start over, we can have a restart and get married here or have a long-term commitment. I know that there's a lot of juggling going on about a choice here, but I find you so attractive and I really do feel like you're the best decision for me when it comes to love. Okay, so Aries, let's get a little bit more clarity here about the situation. So how does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does Aries love interest feel, excuse me, how does, what does Aries love interest secretly want to tell them? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. This will help me get clarity about this two of cups, this star card energy. What did I tell you guys? The heart card is there. They love you, okay? 
there is love for you here. And we got, we got the Two of Cups energy as being a relationship, and then we got the King of Cups saying, yes, I love you. And then look at the strong desires this person has for you. They have strong desire for love here, okay? And a commitment, oh my God. They have a sense also with the snake card being there, possibly there may be some challenges around the commitment because of juggling or having to make a choice. We see that the moon card is there because they're confused about this indecision going on or this choice that has to be made or this crossroads is going on. They're stressing and they have anxiety about some type of ending here. Yeah, there we go. The moon card is referencing again this romance. So indecisions that you're causing this person stress and worry about the romance here with the moon card energy. And then going further, there is the cross card. Now the cross card can represent something spiritual, some, some sense of spirituality here with the, you and this person, or they're having the sense because if I go this way with it, this commitment and having to juggle some things here and wanting to have a restart here, which is causing them stress and gaining clarity about burdens and responsibilities. Yeah, this person definitely wants to move in a positive direction. They want some positive changes here with the store card energy. Oh my God, look at the dogs coming out. They want loyalty. They want to be loyal to only you here. So far, so good. And even if we go to the last pile here, a commitment to romance and loyalty. Dog card energy. Oh my God. Aries. I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that all the other signs are just as good as this. Jeez. Okay. What does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to about. What does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries? Cards need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh my God, look at that Aries. They, they feel like you're a soulmate connection, reconnecting the two of cups and the heart card energy that there's love and the wanting relationship. And there we go. They have a sense of confusion though. That's the moon card energy. But you really make them happy there with the sun card energy. They want a positive outcome. And they do want to heal this connection. Some of you, it may have been a breakup that happened or they're concerned that you still are going through some things here and they want to give you some time to reflect and heal. There could be some friends that have been causing some stress around the situation or they've been influenced by friends or they may feel like you've been influenced by friends and they have uncertainty about where they stand with you emotionally and that's actually why they want to gain clarity here. There's the stress card again coming out and okay so we see that the juggling is going on or this choice is being made. They have concern about an ex-partner and let's go down here possibly something to do with a marriage and some kind of changes around that or another person being involved with the situation. This person just wants to be nurturing and supportive to you. Okay, so let's now take a look at the, the potential of this connection. Okay, so with this particular Page of Swords, this Page of Swords is holding their heart and they're trying to be like, yo, I graduated and you know what? Because obviously they have a little bit of a, a you know, those, one of those hats that shows a graduation. So they're like, I have a lot of knowledge here, right? And you really fulfill my wishes and my desires here. New perspective about things, Gemini, Libra, Christ energy. He's a pentacles. They're hoping for uh, a huge offer, a huge change. So the potential here is there's going to be new perspectives of the situation and ace of pentacles, a huge offer being presented here. But there will be some anxiety and desire of, uh, there will be anxiety or stress about a lot of eyes being on the situation. Okay, going further on this, something is gonna end, stop or complete. And then there's gonna be this huge surprise with the bouquet card energy about a decision and going further. A decision will be made very soon to overcome challenges here because it looks like either you or the other person's gonna assert control over the situation. All right, my beautiful Aries, I love you guys so much. My goodness, what a beautiful reading for you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys like this. If you did, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys uh, very soon, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your month. And also for the holiday giveaway, all you guys have to do is put blessed in love in the comments below and pick in two people for a free person reading and one for the holiday giveaway. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.